Our local land services eco-action sites are here for the long term. We've got development plans in place for every site. These drought resilience projects are all about taking the stress out of drought and stock water management. There's some great technology that we can put in place that can help reduce the time and the effort put in to managing your stock water system. We'll be talking to Warwick Nan, who manages our travelling stock reserves across the Hunter Local Land Services Upper Hunter area. With this reserve at um, Hillside Dam, we've um, changed the water system completely to drought strategy resist it a lot more than what it was before. Um, we've put in a solar pump to pump out of the dam to stop all the, the uh, soil erosion around the dam to pump up to a single tank which feeds two of the paddocks and the um, solar pump has worked on a double float system so that we don't lose water out of the dam trying to uh, preserve all the water that's in the dam as much as possible. In this particular paddock um, where the, we have fenced off the dam, the water quality has improved by 100%. It's uh, no longer, you can see the bottom, it's no longer all muddy and sloppy and soupy from the cattle. And uh, good quality water is good quality cattle and they do a lot better. Well, this is a pressure gauge. When the float drops down up at the top tank and the cattle are drinking out of it, the pressure switch cuts in, which allows the, the pump then to um, cut in and pump water. As you can see, when I turn the, the water on, the pressure gauge drops, then it picks up because the water is flowing, and then it goes back up to a, a stable situation. We have a, a farm bot set up on the um, tank up the top of the hill, which is, allows us to keep an eye on the, the water levels. And if, you know, if it's water running out through the night time, it'll send an alert to uh, notify us so we can check it with because we don't want to waste the water out of this dam. With this water monitoring system we can access it through the computer, through our phone, through our iPads. Uh, it's very easy to um, look at, very easy to um, manage. We have bell trees which is the one that we're at now with Hillside. It has just levelled out today, it's not because the stock are not drinking out of it. Um, you can calculate how much water those cattle are drinking from your tank. You can um, go back to, to the maps and, and check your other tanks. This is an example of the, of the water leak. This was at um, the two tanks at uh, Gundabri. The water slowly went down. I was notified. I had to go and get uh, some tools then to fix the leak. But in the meantime, it had dropped here and then it, it, over the next two days, it had um, filled back the tank. We're moving back to where we are now. It's all been steady. Um, until the cattle went back into the tank and this is the, the result of the um, cattle being in there. It drops down to this level uh, down here. Then it fills back up when the pump cuts in on the, um, the pressure pump the, and makes my job a lot easier to be able to keep an eye on those sorts of things. This, this type of technology will help the landholders look after their water problems. Um, definitely make it a lot easier. They can do a water run of a morning, water run of an afternoon quite easily and um, manage their properties a lot easier. And in the summertime when water is a vital uh, stock resource, um, they can you know, die very quickly from lack of water in, in 40 degree days. From my point of view, the system has already paid for itself. It has helped me out greatly. We've had two breakdowns at uh, Grundabri and um, yeah, saved a lot of water and saved a lot of time being out there. Notified the landholder that uh, there was a problem. He's fixed his little bit and I've, um, I've fixed the other bit. And it's, it's definitely paid for itself, there's no doubt.